Hello Paulinians! It's me again, Mom MJ, and welcome to my class. Our topic for today is about standard form of quadratic function. Recall that a quadratic function written in the form of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 0, is said to be in standard form. Let's try this example. Write f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 3 quantity squared minus 11 in standard form. So first, expand the square of the binomial. So we have f of x is equal to 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 11. Then, apply the distributive property. So we have 2 times x squared is equal to 2x plus 2 times 6x is equal to 12x plus 2 times 9 is equal to positive 8 minus 11. Then simplify. So we have 2x squared plus 12x plus 7. Note that the coefficient a, b, and c provide useful information about the graph of quadratic function. Now here's the Properties of the graph of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The graph of f of x is equal to a squared plus bx plus c is a parabola that a opens upward if a is greater than 0 and opens downward if a is less than 0. And b has an axis of symmetry which is x is equal to negative b over 2a. Letter C has a vertex at negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a. And last, has a y-intercept of o and c. For example, given the function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 12x plus 9. So, we are looking for A, the axis of symmetry of the graph of the function, B, the vertex of the graph of the function, and C, the y-intercept of the function. First, identify the values for A, B, and C. So, we have A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 12, and C is equal to 9. For letter A, find the axis of symmetry of the graph of the function. So given the formula for finding the axis of symmetry or the value for x which is x is equal to negative b over 2a. Let's substitute the given values to the formula. So we have x is equal to negative times negative 12 over 2 times 2. For the axis of symmetry we have x is equal to 3. So next for letter b Find the vertex of the graph of the function. In finding the vertex, we will use again the formula for x, which is negative b over 2a. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is also 3. In getting the y-coordinate of the vertex, all we need to do is to substitute the given value of x, or the value of x, which is 3, to our function which is f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 12x plus 9. So we have f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 quantity squared minus 12 times 3 plus 9 is equal to 9. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, negative 12 times 3 is negative 36. So 18 minus 36 is equal to negative 18 plus 9 is equal to 9. So for the y-coordinates of the vertex, we have positive 9. Therefore, the vertex of the graph of the function are positive 3 and negative 9. For letter C, identify the y-intercept of the function. So simply substitute the given value for C. So we have 0 and positive 9. Now sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 12x plus 9. We have the graph. First, plot the vertex 3 and negative 9 and draw the axis of symmetry which is x is equal to 3. Next is plot 
y intercept 0 and 9 and its symmetric point which is 6 and 9. Now, evaluate the function at another value of x. Let's say x is equal to 1. Then substitute the value of x which is f of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 quantity squared plus 12 times 1 plus 9 is equal to negative 1. We have now another coordinates, which is 1 and negative 1, and its symmetric point, which is 5 and negative 1. After we plot the points, 1 and negative 1, and 5 and negative 1, draw a smooth curve through the plotted points. Note that the graph opens upward since A is equal to 2 greater than 0. So that's our topic all about. I hope that you learned a lot today and I am praying that you're all in a good health. Thank you and see you next video.